Only 70 kilometers away from India, China has invested hundreds of billions to build a new city on the border. How much is its value? The Sino-Indian border is the most disputed area between China and its land neighbors. In the uninhabited area only 70 kilometers away from India, China spent 20 years and invested hundreds of billions to build a modern town, which has since rewritten the history of Honglu Beach being uninhabited. So why did China build a city on the Sino-Indian border? How is the construction of this town now? Let us take a closer look in this video. Hongliuten refers to an important place located in the southwest of Ali Prefecture, Tibet, China. Many years ago, there were dense red willows growing here, and the branches and leaves of the red willows were connected, so it got its name. The area is located in the Shirquan River Valley near Barigas, a disputed territory between China and India. Barigas covers an area of about 1,900 square kilometers and is located on the Chinese side of the traditional customary line between China and India. However, India still controls about 450 square kilometers of territory to the west of the Shirquan River and the Zhuapu River in the southwest of the Barigas area. The Shirquan River Valley exists because of the Shirquan River. The Shirquan River originates from the glacial lake on the north side of Gangrenboki, the main peak of Gangdai's mountain. It flows from south to north into Bangba, then turns west and merges with Garzangbo in the area of Zaxagang Township, then turns northwest and finally enters the Ladakh region through a gap between the mountains. The river is 405 kilometers long in China, with a basin area of about 27,000 square kilometers and belongs to the upper source of the Indus River. When the river flows through Senkaba, it is replenished by the Spring River on the right bank and flows all year round. Because the area has a large drop, the mountains are interlaced, and the shape resembles a lion, it is named Shirquan River. The river is 173 kilometers west of Jijai County to the middle reaches of the river. This part is a wide valley section, so it is also called the Shirquan River Basin. The Shirquan River Basin is a mountain basin about 30 kilometers long and about 5 to 10 kilometers wide. It is surrounded by Bakong Tamu Kilung Mountain and Konglongju Mountain. It is located in the Ali area with the highest altitude on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. Even in the basin, the altitude is as high as 4,255 meters. Although the Shirquan River has seven main tributaries, the area it flows through is in a desert and semi-desert area. Precipitation is scarce and the climate is dry. The same is true for the Shirquan River Basin, where the annual precipitation is only more than 100 millimeters. And the wind here is very strong, with an average of more than 100 days of wind force above level 8 every year, and the environment is extremely harsh. Therefore, before 1962, this place was an uninhabited area with few people and a primitive landscape of red willows everywhere. However, since the opening of the Xinjiang-Tibet Highway, the traffic conditions in the border area have been greatly improved. Relying on the Shirquan River Basin and the Xinjiang-Tibet Highway, in 1965, the Xinjiang engineering team came to the uninhabited Shirquan River Red Willow Beach and laid the first brick. Then in 1966, the Ali Prefecture moved the administrative office from Kuncha Township, Gar County to the area, and the construction of Shirquan River Town began. Later, China spent hundreds of billions of funds and more than 20 years to overcome the harsh environment, traffic blockage and other difficulties, and finally built a border town on the plateau. 
The town covers an area of 1,042 square kilometers and is administratively affiliated to Gar County in the Ali Prefecture of Tibet. China's southwestern border is located in the Qinghai Tibet Plateau with a harsh environment and dangerous terrain. And the population here is sparse, especially in the Ali region, which is known as the Roof of the World's Roof. Because the average altitude here is above 4,500 meters, there are many mountains and ravines. Therefore, it is also called the third pole of the world and the forbidden zone of life. Due to geographical limitations and the fact that China's military capabilities have not kept up in the past, the logistical supply and military output capabilities to the region are seriously insufficient. However, border defense is an important strategic frontier for maintaining national territorial sovereignty and security. For a long time, China's work in border areas has been extremely difficult. However, Tibet's rich resources and important strategic value are coveted by external forces. During the British Indian period, British colonists took advantage of the decline of the Qing dynasty and, without permission, arbitrarily blurred and tampered with the Sino-Indian borderline, privately occupied large tracts of territory such as southern Tibet that belonged to China, and tried to use this as a springboard to continue to advance into Xinjiang and Tibet. Although the colonial era ended after World War II, the British colonists withdrew from South Asia, and the plan to occupy Xinjiang also failed. However, after India gained independence from the British colonists in 1947, it continued the strategic thinking of the British India period and frequently created trouble on the border issue. Although China drove all Indian troops out of the traditional customary line between China and India in its self-defense counterattack against India in 1962, the border conditions were limited, and China's capabilities at that time were not enough to support long-term garrisoning on the border. So China finally chose to take the initiative to withdraw to the actual control line, but India took the opportunity to follow closely and once again occupied large tracts of territory such as South Tibet and Barigas in China. It has even been claiming sovereignty claims over these areas, and has achieved the goal of completely controlling these areas through means such as large-scale immigration and infrastructure construction. India's behavior has also made China more deeply aware of the importance and necessity of guarding the border. However, the Sino-Indian border issue has lasted for decades, and it has also made China understand that it is obviously not enough to simply deploy military forces on the border. Only by truly building the border, especially building towns of scale, can the role of a strategic fulcrum be truly played. In the event of an emergency, it is also convenient to transport materials deeper into the border, thus providing the most reliable guarantee for border defense logistics. This is also one of the main purposes of building Shikanhi Town. From the map, Shikanhi Town is adjacent to Jejai County on the east, Purang County and Jada County on the west, Rutog County on the north, and the Indian-controlled Kashmir region on the west. The town is only about 70 kilometers away from India, and only 500 kilometers away from the Indian capital New Delhi in the south. It is an important barrier between China and India. Before the construction of Shikanhi Town, China took the lead in building the Tibet Highway. Later, through the construction of Angshi Highway, Ari Highway, Hei Highway, etc., Shikanhi Town was connected with other cities. After the traffic conditions were greatly improved, the strategic position of Shikanhi Town was further highlighted. It plays an irreplaceable and important role in China's border security. 
In addition to its strategic value, the construction of Shikanhi town also supports the development of the border economy. It is connected to India through multiple mountain passes and is an important gateway for China to South Asia. At first, Shikanhi town lacked everything except endless sand and gravel due to the extremely harsh environment. People who lived and built here were fighting against the harsh environment almost all the time. However, with the continuous improvement of China's comprehensive national strength, technology and funds have become more abundant and border construction has been quickly put on the agenda. The construction of Shikanhi town has become a top priority for China's border development. With the increasing trade between China and Central Asia and South Asia, the convenient transportation of Shikanhi town has also provided a good foundation for China's cross-border trade cooperation. And under the long-term integration of Eastern and Western history and culture, Shikanhi town has gradually developed into a unique modern town in the border area. At the end of the last century, when the construction team first set foot on this land, there was almost nothing here except snow-capped mountains and grasslands. In the past 20 years, the construction team has basically lacked everything from electricity, labor, construction materials, etc., and also had to take risks to resist natural disasters such as wind, sand, drought and floods. After years of research and survey by experts and scholars, one after another difficult to break through dangerous situations has been solved. A modern city has sprung up in the barren border area. A series of cross-river bridges have been built on the Shirkwan River and houses are lined up on both sides of the river. The town has all the infrastructure such as schools, hospitals, roads, water, electricity and communications, and the quality of life of residents has been greatly improved. In order to further improve the local education system, China has also provided it with a complete teaching setting and various modern educational equipment to lay the foundation for the cultivation of high-quality talents in the local area. In terms of medical care, a medical team of more than 200 people is equipped to meet the basic needs of local residents. Today, Shikanhi town has become the administrative and economic center of the Ali region. After years of exploration, a large amount of gold, copper, sulfur and other mineral resources have been discovered in the town. Here, white walls and red eaves, flowers and green trees, mountains in the distance and clear skies, Unique culture and thriving life have gradually attracted a large number of investors and tourists. In recent years, the tourism industry in Shikanhi town has also developed significantly. In addition, tens of thousands of cold-resistant and drought-resistant trees such as Qinghai poplar and hairy willow have been planted in the town, and a wetland protection area has been established to support the protection of the fragile local ecological environment. The creation of Shikanhi town from scratch is a powerful feedback from China's Tibet construction over the past 70 years, demonstrating China's strong comprehensive national strength. I believe that with China's continuous in-depth construction of border areas, more strategic towns like Shikanhi Town will be born in China's border areas. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.